Hey everybody, Dr. O here. In this video, we're going to cover the common bacterial cell shapes and arrangements. So I'll just go right through the list here. Uh, so first we have a coccus. So a coccus would be the singular, cocci would be plural. That's going to be a round or a spherical cell. Uh, bacillus means rod. So technically the bacill bacillus can be used in two ways. Like uh, bacillus is used as a name and as a shape. So it's like my name is Frank, right? So uh, Frank would be my name, but a Frank would also be a hot dog, I guess, right? So uh, um, so if you see bacillus and it's capitalized and it's part of the name of an organism, it's, it is part of its name, but it also is telling you that it has a rod-like shape. So coccus means sphere, uh, spherical organism. Bacillus is rod. Next we have vibrio. So think it's, a, it's, it's technically a curved rod, but they look like a comma. So there's so many examples of, of the cocci and the bacilli that we'll cover them as we go. But the really only the key example of a vibrio that we're going to talk about very much is vibrio cholera, the causative agent of cholera. Uh, next we have the cacobacillus. So these are actually short rods, but they're so short that they can look like spheres. So they kind of, they can be uh, misinterpreted sometimes. So a cacobacillus is a short rod. Quite a few examples here. Uh, important ones, let's see, Haemophilus influenza, which is the, can cause meningitis. Uh, Bordetella pertussis, which can cause, which causes whooping cough. Those would both be examples of, of cacobacillus or cacobacilli organisms. Uh, next, we have the spirillums. These are rigid, uh, large organisms that are that are spiral or corkscrew shaped. Uh, not any really important clinical examples here, but I do want to point out that the spirillum and the spirochetes they're both examples of spiral organisms. But there's there's a couple clear different clear differences here. Uh, spirochetes are also going to be corkscrew shaped. They're going to be more flexible. But here's the key difference: the spirillum organisms they're going to be propelled by flagella on the on their ends. The spirochetes they use a special kind of flagella. Um, which is called an axial filament. So that's going to be the key difference there. And then clinically, the spirochetes are a lot more important. Uh, the two key spirochetes that I can think of here would be um, Treponema pallidum, which is the causative, causative agent of syphilis, and Borrelia burgdorferi, which is the causative agent of Lyme disease. And there are other ones. All right, so those are the basic cell, shell shape, sh cell shapes. Say that three times fast. Coccus, bacillus, vibrio, cacobacillus, spirillum, and spirochetes. Now let's move on to the cell arrangements. So if you just have a single organism, it would be a coccus or a bacillus. No need to go over that again. Diplo means two. So if you have a pair of spheres, it would be a diplococcus. A pair of rods would be a diplobacillus. Uh, the most important diplococcus would be your streptococcus pneumonia. I know the name tells you it's in chains, but it's, it's a diplococcus most of the time. Tetrad, we don't talk about that much. That's, that'd be a group of four. If you want to go even further into a group of eight, that's called a sarcine, but that's not a big Big deal. Uh, but the two key ones here are strepto means chain, staphylo means uh, mean, means cluster, sorry. So you think, uh, uh, so strepto and staphylo and then coccus and bacillus. Most of the organisms that we're going to talk about are going to need those terms to describe them. So strepto means chain, staphylo means cluster. Now notice here we have a streptococcus and we have a staphylococcus, but we do not have a staphylobacillus. So a streptobacillus is a chain of rods, but rods don't actually grow in clusters, and that's because rods grow end to end. They don't grow. Uh, they don't grow side to side. So you're not going. If you see a cluster of rods, it's only because they're in a pile. It's not because they grew that way. So there is no strepto or um, staphylobacillus. Okay, so those are going to be all your key terms as far as um, cell shape and cell arrangement for your bacteria. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.